Welcome back everyone to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And before we get into the video, I want to remind everyone to like and leave a comment because it really helps YouTube's algorithm and shares my content to more people and helps me grow. I also have some links in my description. One is a Patreon link that actually has a variety of tiers and one of those tiers might be right for you, so please check them out. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link and basically anything that you purchase through that link, I get a small bonus from that and it really helps the channel grow. Okay, let's start with these market movers with the list starting today with Dancing Scimitar from Arabian Nights. This is up 5.03% today from $75.11 to $78.80. Nine cents. Now this card actually does see a little bit of play in one Dorn the Siege Tower deck that has a registered copy on MTG Goldfish. And the next card we have on the list to talk about is Polluted Delta. This is the Onslaught original fetch land, up 5.63% from $69.15 to $73.04. Now this card is one of the most utilized lands in the game and it sees a lot of play in Legacy Team or Delver, but it also sees play in Vintage and Commander and Modern as well. Hull Breacher from Commander Legends. This rare is up 5.97% from $23.44 to $24.84. Now this card sees most of its play in Commander, more recently a Tasker the Golden Fang deck. Next up is Waste Knot from Magic 2015, one of the best rares from this set, up 6.13% from 22.67 to 24.06, a very expensive rare right now, and it sees most of its play in Turgrid, God of Fright decks in Commander. And the next card we have on the list to talk about is Pyramids from Arabian Nights. This is our first reserve list card of the day, up 7.14% from 279.98 to 299.98, and there isn't actually any registered decks that I found that are using it, but if there is any decks that you know of, please let me know in the comments. Strip Mine, this is the Even Horizon art from Antiquities. The original printing of this card up 7.17% from 107.93 to 115.67. It sees most of its play in Vintage, Saltai Midrange decks, Golo Stacks, and even Ravager Shops as well. Next up is Flying Men from Arabian Nights. This card is up 8.58% from 16.32 to 17.72. Now this is a card from one of the Four Horsemen sets, so it's not a lot of copies of this card on the market, and it sees most of us playing Commander, more recent Erdrick Spymaster deck. Silvala, Heart of the Wilds. This is the Jumpstart reprint of this card, up 9.09% from $12.21 to $13.32. This card sees a lot of play in Commander. It's one of the most popular green Commanders in the game, but it sees a variety of play in other Commander decks as well. Overmaster from Torment. This rare is up 9.27% from $11.76 to $12.85. This card sees... Most of it's play in Commander, and the deck that uses it the most is a Bergy God of Storytelling deck. Spiritual Sanctuary from Legends. This reserve list card is up 11.65% from 2034 to 2271, and there isn't any registered decks that I found that are using it, but if you know of, of any casual decks that use it, let me know. And the next card we have on the list to talk about is Azure Drake from Legends, another card from one of the Four Horsemen sets, up 12.69%, up 906 to $10. And 21 cents. And this card, again, sees no play that I could find. But again, let me know in the comments if you know of any casual decks that use this. Next up on the list is Ruck Egg from Arabian Nights. Another card from a Four Horsemen set up 13.10% today from $23.52 to $26.60. And there is one registered deck that I found that is using it. And that's an Alta Palani deck. Next up on the list is Aladdin's Lamp. From Arabian Nights, a lot of Four Horsemen sets on this list here today, up 14.88% from 103.91 to 119.37. And this card does see a little bit of play in one registered commander deck, a Cedri Galvanic Genius deck. And the next card we have on the list is Thran Quarry from Urza Saga. This rare land is up 15.04% today from 9.24 to $10.63. And it sees most of its play in Commander. And one of the decks that does use it is the Edgar Markov deck. Next card up on the list is Junin Afrit from Arabian Nights. Another Four Horsemen set card up 17.03% from $48.98 to $57.32. And it does see play in Commander. One registered deck that does use it is a Tetsuo Umazawa deck. And the next card we have to talk about is Ragman from The Dark, up 17.42% from $5.74 to 
to $6.74. Does see a bit of play in Commander. The one that uses it most recently is a Turgrid God Fright deck. And the next card we have on the list today is Grinding Station from Fifth Dawn. This uncommon is going up quite dramatically, up 17.69% from 746 to 878. And yes, it does see a lot of play in Commander from a variety of, of registered decks. Amphin Mutineer from Commander Legends. This card came out very recently and it's up 31.86% from $3.39 to $4.40. Seven cents, and it sees most of its play in Commander. More recently, a Ranar the Ever Watchful deck. Sorceress Queen from Arabian Nights, another Four Horsemen set card, up 45.31% from $60.49 to $87.90. It does see play in Commander, but it's also a card from a Four Horsemen set. Not a lot of copies of this in near mint on the market right now. Owl Familiar from Starter. 1999. This is up 72.07% from 179 to 308, but it also was reprinted in Portal as well, and you might be able to find some cheaper copies of it. Next up, let's talk about some foil movers with the list of the top movers of the day. Starting that small list off with Tabalt's Trickery. This is the promo pack from Kaldheim. It's up 32.47% from $5.76 to $7.63. Vicious Rumors from Guilds of Ravnica. This common foil is up 56.22% from $2.01 to $3.14. Next on the list is Verdant Succession. This is a rare from Odyssey, so an old border card up 61.43% from $2.10 to $3.39. And the next card is... Another old border card, Dragon Tyrant from Scourge. This rare is up 63.63% from $11.96 to $19.57 as its average market price right now. And the last foil on the list is Life Gift. Yes, this card was on our list yesterday. It's from Betrayers of Kamigawa. This rare is up 427% from $2.17 to $11.45. Now, this card is actually... Uh, was actually talked about in Commander uh, the Command Zone, so it actually gave it a little bit of hype boost, but it also is a card that people want to throw into a Commander deck, a Dina Soul Steeper deck, so that's one of the reasons why it's actually going up today, and this is a Wither Bloom card that was released recently in Strixhaven. Okay, and now it is the time where we go over the market movers. So there is not too many reserve list cards, but it looks like the focus has shifted more from just reserve list cards in general now to just anything old vintage, especially for horsemen sets, because that's what's really been on the list a lot this week, and it's really starting to show, especially later as the week goes on. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the movers down below. What movers are you more excited about? Which ones do you think are a bit of a fake? Which ones do you think are real? And let me know what cards you're thinking about investing in this week. I'd love to read those down below. And with that being said, please enjoy the rest of your day. I do make these videos from Monday to Friday. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. It'll really help me grow. And with that being said, please enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.